Well, it is opening day 2024, and our friend Chef Aaron Neiman is here to spice up your game day menu. He also has some ideas for, you know, a big thing coming up this weekend, too, called Easter. So we've got a couple different yeah. things to get ready for. we got a few ideas. Yeah, so if people are, you know, maybe staying home today, they're going to watch the game at home, want to get prepared for either lunch or dinner, let's start with that. So chili dogs are pretty big in Cincinnati. Yep. I'm going to make the Latin version. Ooh. So we've got some chorizo. I cooked down this cacique chorizo with a uh, just a plain mild salsa from Kroger. Okay. Uh, and I just cooked it into what is a chili. Uh, you have your choice of hot dog here. Uh, I prefer if I'm making a chili dog, I'm not grilling the dog. I'm going to boil the dog. Okay. It's going to be a juicier dog. You're not going to block that flavor. Um, but what I have here is not a traditional hot dog bun. It's a bolillo roll. Bolillo roll. Bo which means roll in Spanish. Okay. So yeah. it's a roll roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, and what I, what I have that for is because when you get a chili dog uh, from a local place, maybe it's kind of overflowing a little bit. This kind of encases uh, what you need in there. So I take my chorizo chili. Again, I just cooked out the, uh, the chili. I cooked it through and then I added the salsa and let it cook down. You're going to add your chili to that. I have some queso fresco here that I've crumbled up. Oh, look at that. And then to top it all off, I think is the big kicker. Okay. Uh, as I took this fresh cream and I added cilantro, lime, cumin, and garlic to it and a little bit of hot sauce. Oh my goodness. And we're just going to drizzle that over the top. So it's just a little bit different of a chili dog. Uh, warm you up with a little bit of spice. Here. I want to try a little bit of that sauce. Give me a little squirt on here. A little squirt of the sauce. Sauce. All right. And the chorizo itself. Is that already a little spicy and that's why you added kind of a mild salsa? Yep, so it kind of balances it. it out. You've got your, your cooling agent to it. Mm. Um, Ooh, and there's definitely going to be some balance going into there to where you're going to have some spice. And then you got your cheese and then uh, your cooling sauce. Yeah, and that really, I can feel that that would kind of cool off your palate yeah, there a little bit. Yeah, again, you could probably eat that by itself. Yeah, and that's a great idea with those the bigger rolls to kind of hold all that in. Yeah. You don't want to lose any For of that sure. good well, flavor. Well, yeah, you can, you can close that up and... Yeah. So uh, the recipes for that will be on the website. Your uh, website, Chef Aaron Neiman. And on my website, yes. Okay, yep. So chefaaron.com. And then on, um, I've got a pistachio snack here, just oh. pistachios and pretzels. And what I've done is I've taken one egg white and a tablespoon of honey. And I whisked it until it was a, uh, almost until it was a firm peak. And I mixed in the pistachios and the pretzels. And then I baked it for about 10 to 12 minutes on 350. And when it comes out, I'm going to dust it with a powder of uh, ranch powder, a tablespoon okay. of ranch powder. So these are going to be spicy, great flavor on their own. It's jalapeno a brand new lime. flavor yeah. from pistachios, jalapeno lime. Uh, I took the pretzels and mixed it together. You've got your own little snack mix. Perfect. What uh, about over here? We have an almond sauce. It's very simple. I'm not doing anything to it. It's a brand new flavor. Dill pickle, uh, almond based sauce. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the stores. Yeah. Make sure you grab the dill pickle flavor. It's delicious. I tried it. Kickstand. Need uh, a cocktail. We got 30, 30 seconds left. So again, this is this is uh, cold outside, spicy cocktails, kickstand cocktails. They're locally founded. Mm. Uh, no artificial flavors. It's only 105 calories. Wow. Uh, it's not overwhelming. Uh, it's not an intimidating spice. And then finally, Easter, you have your boar's head sweet sliced ham. Uh, if you need a fantastic ham to go with your Easter dinner, no bone in here, easy slice. That's why it's called sweet slice. There's also a maple version. And then you have your ham glaze. Make sure you put it on there beforehand. If you don't like it overly sweet, you don't have to. Okay. It's a great ham by itself. Perfect. And we can find that locally in, in Kroger stores. Kroger stores. All right. ChefAaron.com is where you can find the recipes. We'll also have this for you at Local12.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy opening day. Happy Easter to you. We'll be back. You can always find our Local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.